Charlotte Mecklenburg School District is again searching for a new superintendent. The school board announced today Dr. Clayton Wilcox is resigning from the job. A quick look at how we got here. On June 21st, Channel 9 first told you the district stopped fingerprinting new workers for about a year. A source confirmed to Channel 9 that controversy did play a role in the decision to suspend Wilcox on July 15th. Well, today, the announcement that Wilcox will be stepping down. August 2nd, and that's just a few weeks before the first day of school on August the 26th. Channel 9 has team coverage of this decision. What's next for the district and what all of this means for your children. And we start with education reporter Elsa Gillis. Allison, we are talking about a role that oversees 19,000 employees, 147,000 students, and a budget of about $1.4 billion. So this is a big deal. But CMS leaders today, while not explaining their decision, say they are moving full steam ahead. Yeah, very shocked. Yeah, very shocked about it. Why? Got a big reason. So, why would it be? Shock and more questions. That's what we heard from parents today upon learning their child superintendent, Dr. Clayton Wilcox, will resign. Dr. Wilcox will resign effective August 2nd, 2019. It was a stunning announcement from the school board with just weeks to go before thousands of students, parents, and staff fill school hallways for the new year. The board approved this separation agreement between Dr. Clayton Wilcox and the board unanimously. And the board made clear he will stay suspended with pay until August 2nd and will not be paid for his resignation. Dr. Wilcox will not receive any compensation, including benefits, upon his departure from CMS that any other employee leaving CMS would not be entitled to receive. Just hours after that bombshell announcement, the district put out this video with a message from acting superintendent Ernest Winston, who pledged stability and steady leadership. We are in a time of leadership transition in our school district, but our focus on students remains clear. But some parents aren't feeling as confident heading into the new year. Very concerned because I have grandkids that are coming through the system. Uh, my kids came through, now my grandkids are coming through, so I'm very concerned. Now, the district says they want parents to know that everything is on track for the new school year. As for the search for the new superintendent, there was no announcement today about whether that has started yet. Back to you. All right, Elsa, thank you for that reporting. Years ago, as Wilcox was taking the CMS job, Channel 9 uncovered his history of leaving districts before his contract was up. Wilcox had just signed a four-year contract extension with Washington County Public Schools in Maryland when he agreed to take the CMS position in 2016. And in 2008, a newspaper in Florida reported he resigned from his superintendent post there before his contract expired so that he could take a job as a VP at Scholastic. Up next, of course, the big job of finding a new superintendent. Just filling the role is a huge job and an expense for taxpayers. Channel 9's Mark Becker has been reporting for us in Charlotte for more than 30 years and has been here during a lot of that changeover from CMS. Well, obviously, it's very early on, and we don't know how CMS will go about trying to fill that superintendent's position, whether they'll look for outside talent or look for somebody already inside CMS. But we can look back at past searches, perhaps, and get some ideas. The last resignation we saw like this was back in 2014. Heath Morrison left CMS then. And similar to this case, an acting superintendent stepped in. In that case, it was Dr. Ann Clark. In this case, it'll be CMS Ombudsman Ernest Winston. We don't know yet if he will get the job permanently or if he even wants it. In the last incident like this, though, Ann Clark didn't want it permanently and the school board decided to do a nationwide search for a new leader. That led the board to hire a search firm called McPherson and Jacobson at a cost of $34,500 plus expenses. And if history repeats itself, the district will want to hear from you as well. Last time, a nonprofit called MECED was tasked with holding a series of community meetings to talk about the search. And after 14 meetings back in 2016, MECED concluded that parents told them they want someone who can rebuild trust in the school system. It looks, Scott, like that's something they may need to work on again. Scott? All right, Mark, thank you. Still coming up at 6 o'clock, Channel 9 digs deeper into the major projects Wilcox was working on and what might happen to those now.